Hello, this is Maurice and I'm here to talk about the electric eel wheel. This is the fifth version and this is uh, still a work in progress. So this is a prototype, but I've been making really good progress and I wanted to show people uh, what I've done so far. So I wanted to compare and contrast a little bit uh, with the electric eel wheel version 4 to this new one, the version 5. So one of the first things you'll notice is that the uh, fifth version is uh, even smaller. And that's really useful because one of the big advantages of an electric spinning wheel is how portable. I mean, it, it really just fits in the palm of your hand. You can take it to your uh, knitting nights. Uh, also, uh, another big advantage is that uh, the motor controller has been completely redesigned. So on the previous version, there was this annoying hum at slow speeds, whereas this one at slow speeds is really, just really quiet. So um, the, the humming of the motor controller is completely gone, and uh, at low speeds it's much, much quieter. Um, another thing is that a, a lot of the parts on this new version are injection molded. So that allows uh, me to uh, do things like um, I put radiuses or basically rounded the edges wherever the yarn flows. So you'll see here we've got a nice rounded edge where the yarn goes in. This is all rough and yarn was getting caught. Another big problem with this one was these hooks had sharp edges and sometimes the yarn would get caught there. Uh, on this version, the hooks are all rounded so there's nowhere for the yarn to get caught. Um, I've also come up with this clever uh, gliding hook design that I've really never seen anything like on a spinning wheel and it works really well. Um, so you can just slide it where you want it and uh, it works wonderfully. So uh, the other thing that the injection molded parts um, allow is uh, all of the parts are perfectly uniform. So that um, means that the balance is going to be better. I've also used a lubricated plastics so that uh, the friction is reduced. And what that means is that the, the spinning wheel is going to be smoother and runs faster. So this one max out around 800 RPMs. This one will go to 1000 RPMs. Additionally, um, it will be quieter. So if you listen to this guy, even at high speeds, kind of had that clickety sound. There's no clickety sound with this one. This one's really smooth. All the way up to high speeds, it's just butter smooth. So there's a lot of other things that I'll be talking about in the future, but uh, I just wanted to make a, a quick update so people could see where I'm at. Again, these are th this still is a prototype, so there's um, time for me to change things, and uh, I'd be really interested in uh, feedback from people on, on what they think, and uh, if you've got any ideas um, for further improvements, you know, uh, let me know. Thanks a lot, everyone.